Now, just a day after the list of shame was made public, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission officials sprung into action this morning. Now, Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia became the first casualty today as he was arrested by detectives of a case he had before vying for the 2013 general elections. Betty Kialo has the details of the day that was at Integrity Center. <laughs> A cheerful Wairia walked out of Integrity Center a few minutes to 5 p.m. This was after a half-hour-long reeling by officials at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. According to reports, detectives are said to have ambushed him at his office in Muranga Town and escorted him to the EACC headquarters for questioning. Five detectives came to my office. Where are the last... I was told in Nawagali. They came, I ushered them in, and they told me they are from uh, uh, the anti corruption. I asked them, what is the matter? They told me, well, I'm under arrest. According to his lawyer, Wairia was arrested for being insincere when he was being cleared by the IEBC to run in the 2013 elections. His alleged crime was that he indicated in the IEBC forms he had never been convicted. But that was not true as he had been earlier fined 400,000 shillings for issuing a bouncing check. This is now I threw the matter out with costs. I'm actually, as we speak, pursuing costs. Now I have to go to the court. 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 Now, that is a matter which they are trying to, to revive, a matter which was executed in a court of law. The events at the EACC did not end there. Lands Cabinet Secretary Chari Tingilu was today sermoned by the anti-corruption agency over graft allegations against her. Gilu is required to appear before the EACC on the 7th of April to answer to questions on indictments leveled against her. The draft report included allegations that Ngilu illegally acquired and disposed of land. Ngilu is alleged to have colluded with Evanson Waitiki, who owns the controversial Likoni land to inflate the price of the land, which was to be bought by the government for squatters at 110 million shillings. Ngilu would have allegedly bagged at least 65 million shillings. Other parcels of land linked to Ngilu include those in Karen, Nairobi, Rai, and Kenya Meat Commission land at the coast. Meanwhile, Lugari Member of Parliament Ayub Savula this morning testified against Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Felix Koske. Savula is claimed to have critical information on accusations against Koske in which he is alleged to have illegally given permits to some sugar importers without open tendering. Kosge, who made a brief appearance at the EACC on Monday, will have his date with the EACC officials tomorrow. Betty Kalo, KTN.